Right, heated gloves, folks. You know all the Furigan stuff? So I've got some more to show you. The Furigan Heat Blizzard. Ignore the mess. Uh, here we go. Battery operated. Heated gloves. You can also choose to cable them. Have them powered to the bike. If you so desire. All right. Join me on the bike. And we'll get into it. I'm going to go back in the house where it's warm. See you later. It's two degrees now, folks. Two degrees. I've got my... Uh, obviously, my base layers and everything on. My toes are freezing. I purposefully not got the heated grips on. I mean, and they're lovely and warm. And that's just off the battery. They're on boost at the moment, so they can see them flashing. That's boost mode, so that's 100%. And what I did before I left the garage, I um, opened the app on my phone, which automatically connects to the gloves. Once the app's open, it automatically connects to the gloves. And then um, switched it straight to boost while I was getting dressed. So when I, by the time I put my gloves on, they were lovely and toasty. Yeah, so the 37.5 technology, basically, the heated gloves, and they're going to warm your hands up, but they will not let your hands get sweaty. Because the particles, I don't know, some wizardry, the particles inside the gloves expel any form of moisture. So your hands are perfectly dry. No matter how warm they get, they'll stay perfectly dry so they don't get, like, clammy. Which I think is great as well. There's nothing worse than sweaty, sticky hands when you're trying to get your gloves on and off. Again, these claim to be waterproof, so I will put them to the test, but you know what I'm like with the waterproof stroke Gore-Tex thing? Waterproof doesn't really mean waterproof, does it? So I wouldn't say that they would stand um, heavy downpour, but I will uh, put them through the paces, no, no question. But yeah, my neck is freezing and my hands from my wrist to my fingertips are perfectly warm, perfectly warm. If you connect the super boost cable to your bike battery, run it out of, from under your seat or whatever, and then the, the cable then plugs, um, you can just have it down by your side, but then you run, you run the other cables through each arm of your jacket and then just plug it into your jacket once you plug your gloves on. If you do that, you've got full power, which is super boost, which is 120% power, and that will, um, yeah, obviously then you've got no batteries to worry about, but then you are tethered. So then you do have to remember to unplug yourself from your bike. They've actually got um, like an elasticated band inside the gloves, and when I first looking at them, when I first got them out of the pack, I thought, what the hell's that? And I figured out really what it is because it's got a loop on it so you can put it around your wrist but why would you need your gloves dangling off you? You're not like you go to your petrol station or something. You just put your gloves down, don't you? But then I thought, aha, that's for when you're tethered. So your gloves are plugged into your jacket when you go to your petrol station or whatever. If you just wear these loops around your wrist then you can just flick your, pull your gloves off so they're dangling but you're still connected. So you've not got to disconnect your gloves each time you get, you're getting off the bike. So they can just just dangling from your just from your hand basically. And the only thing you do have to disconnect is your your power from the you know your little connector from the battery from the bike that you'd have dangling out somewhere. So I don't like the idea of tethering, but the more I think about it, the easier it's getting in my mind, you know. But yeah, I've got to say they're very very comfortable. I've got big fat hands, and these are double XL. For those of you that have equally fat hands, uh, I can say this double XL is a perfect fit for me. Yep, no heater grips on, just me heater gloves and me hands are perfect. I wouldn't say I can feel that my hands are hot, but they're not one bit cold. When I first put the gloves on at home, they felt they felt warm, very warm. But now we're riding, they don't feel I, I can't feel the heat. I don't think I can feel the heat inside there. But my hands are uh, you know perfectly warm, not one bit cold, so they're obviously doing the job. So it regulates the heat properly, so you've not, uh, like I say, you're not getting sweaty hands. I guarantee when I take these gloves off, they'll be perfectly dry. Ah, oh, what's flashing? Ah, oh, the battery indicator's flashing now. That's probably to let me know that the battery's on its way out or there's not much left. What's well, interesting, interesting to see that. And it does uh, keep you in the loop, 
We'll get the phone out in a minute and have a look at the app. Before we go up, we'll have a quick look at this battery indicator so I can see what it's saying. Yeah, that one's still showing us solid. And that one's showing us flashing a lot. So let's have a quick look. Yeah, hands are lovely. Lovely and toasty. And when I open the app, you'll see that this, the blue Bluetooth light lights up. Uh, wild bad, Furigan. Watch. Blue. Ah, uh, they both start flashing now. Okay, so we're flashing. Twenty-five percent remaining. Twenty-five percent in each battery remaining, and that equates to at this power level, which is boost. That equates to uh, thirty-six minutes. Thirty-six minutes on that one. Forty-two minutes on that one. You can also change how hot each setting is, which I think is very cool. Oh, and also, also, let's say you go to work at um, six o'clock every day, six o'clock in the morning every day. You can set your gloves, even if they're in the garage with the bike. Say if you go to work at six o'clock, you could set your gloves a daily routine to preheat every morning so you could set it to, to start preheating at quarter to six every morning so when you get on your bike every morning without you even doing anything your gloves are hot now that is cool well thanks for listening folks furigan heat blizzard more to come but they're very very nice goat leather very soft got the d30 um, protection in the knuckles the metacarpal protection but yeah nice You can also fold the cuff enough to get them under your jacket, which is obviously where they're supposed to be. But by doing that, you're covering this up. It just means turn them on before you stick them on. Turn them on before you stick them on. This is that thing I was telling you about, look. So you put your hand in that, if you were tethered. So plug your gloves into your jacket or whatever. Stick that around your wrist, plug them in, and obviously the battery sits just in there. And along with the cable, so you just plug that in. Cool. Coolio, lulio, cool, lulio. Cool, cool, oh, yeah. You know, when you first stick them back on, they're toasty warm. Oh, I love that. Nice looking gloves, aren't they? There we got them. Thanks very much, folks. Furigan Heat Blizzard. See you later.